Welcome to the Prima Group Change Management Detail Design Demonstration. What you are about to see are the contents to our detailed designs that we have for all ITIL processes. The objective to purchase these detailed designs are to save you time and money. If you were to develop a detailed design for change management internally it would probably take you in the region of three months. By purchasing these detailed design templates you'll be able to have a common change management process across all service boundaries within a week. So here we go. What we're trying to do is we're trying to ensure that we get to a control level 3 against the capability maturity model assessment. This describes a formalized process in which the process objective, activities, inputs and outputs have been defined. The output is formalized, consistent and repeatable. There is one common process across the organization. This process is documented, understood and used by all staff. Our change process detail design documents consists of about 70 pages. As you go through each particular section you'll be able to establish the racy working relationships that is the responsible, the accountable, the consulted and the informed relationships for supplier 1, supplier 2, supplier 3 and internal IT staff. As you go through each particular ITIL sub process you will see that each one has a definition for input, output, description of the sub-process, an area to develop the roles and responsibilities, and a comment section, and of course a change control section. This high-level process flow describes the ITIL good practice change process. So here we have 300.1, 300.2, 300.3, seven, eight and nine for the change process. The next slide is a description of each of those particular high-level sub-process activities. 300.1 showing the filtering and registrationing of an RFC. Inputs for the change management process i.e. the description for that particular 300.1 sub-process. The same for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. So as we go through our document we'll be expanding on each of these sub-processes. This particular visio is for 300.1. As you can see at the top layer these are all the inputs to the change management process going into the receiving of the request for change form. 300.1.2 is checking to see whether it's a duplicate RFC. And you can go down the table so forth. For each particular sub-process part you will have a table like this. So wherever you go in the document to a particular table if you look to the top left hand corner you will see 300.1.2 duplicate RFC. So if we go to the back that further slide we can see 301.2 is this one where we're checking for a duplicate RFC. So each particular stage of the sub-process is developed into this table so that you can see the input, the description, the output, the roles, the comments and the revision history. So we hope all of this will help you build your change process detail design. We hope you enjoy developing your process. We have all of the other ITIL process designs as well so that you can have a common look and feel and have them all online so that they're all uh, easy to access for all parties within your organization. We're selling these documents through a range of distributors throughout the world. And service management is our passion for over 30 years now. So please have a look at www.primagroup.com 
We look forward to selling you some of our documents and being of use to your organization. Thank you.